welcome back to Sharples versus Trina McAlson as we ride on board here in the battle for P6 of the Pro Class. And they've got Alan Lever right in front of them as well. So we're in it's a three-way fight for P5. And Sharples, I think, has himself set in terms of his pace to be that P5 driver if he can pick his way past the racing lab, Eastport and Car as they head down the back straight and arc towards turn number 16. No way through at the moment as they head in towards the braking zone. And further down the field, whilst we ride on board with this, we are hearing that Matt Edmondson's had a major off-track, which has seen him drop from P4 in the M-Class down to P7 in the M-Class. Unfortunate for the number 176 car, but still the Ferrari driver has had plenty of positives from today that he'll take board in to next week. But as we continue to look back to this battle here for P5 in the pro-class, Paul Sharp was there not having the best of runs out of the final corner complex. And indeed, Jerome McAuliffe will be given an opportunity to go hunting after and lever as they come through turn one into two. Coming through at the right hand and up towards three, four. Onto the brakes very shortly for turn number five. And Sharp was here, inching closer now as the victory of McAlson being impeded to a degree by the dirty air off of the back of Lever's car. You can see Sharp was here, feels a lot more comfortable running in that negative downforce view of that dirty air, which works on the downforce of the car as they come in towards turn number seven. But there, Trina McCall, so it goes a bit deep at the break, and Sharples says, OK, I'm going all in. And as they come through, it's elbows out there between Sharples and Trina McCallson. And I think trying to give one another space, but as they come down into the breaking zone, Sharples will not be too pleased with that whatsoever. And in terms of the fact it was elbowed aside, will the places stay as they were? But Sharples definitely showing the face and Trina McCallson there being caught blinded, I think, by the fact he's having to negotiate Simon Hartley, the AMP 12 driver, who was letting the drivers on throw. And as they make their way out towards turn number 12, with this battle right now, I think we'll only turn up the knee, turn up in terms of the calibre of the heat as they head on towards the next lap. But meanwhile, Alan Lever feeling quite comfortable right now to hold a position as they come down towards when it's turns 14 and 15. The UK Sim Racing Price driver struggling pretty these tighter sequences in the Lamborghini compared to the Porsche. You can definitely see that pronounced difference in the speed through the corner complexes. And Lever here under pressure now from Trina McAlson in the run down the back straight where it's going to be the battle of the Lamborghini versus the Porsche. We have a Lamborghini running the Audi V10 engine in the back of it and as they come out towards turn 16, McAlson on the inside there under braking. He's on the right, you picture Lever on the left. Well, Lever's going to try and outbreak the Porsche but he's going to go very deep in concert and with that, oh, good, it's me. And Sharples gets it wrong, just takes a bit too much apex curve. You can see the rear left tyre dropped off of what was the raised curving. And as a result, the UK Sim Racing Price driver has lost P7 and cast to Matt Strand, who's coming through. And as they make the way onwards towards turn one, onto lap number 22 of racing here. Well, right now, Sharples lose that when he meant to gain. And meanwhile, Matt Strand gaining when he was just observing.